scientists called me the most dangerous man in American conservation. As a child, I wanted to be a cowboy. I wanted to ride tough. I never have turned down an adventure. So I got on a freight train headed west. I started taking photographs. Here's a photograph I took for Life magazine. <laughs> Here's a picture of my friend Slim Pickens. Every book I've ever written, I've lived those events. Well, the money is All gone. those are the horses. Just put to a fellow horse person. So excited. Thank you very much. I got a permit to build that dam. I said I had a degree in ENG at the state engineer who thought it meant engineering, and I knew it meant English. I went down to a government wild horse holding facility. They were just miserable. I had to do something about it. I set up the wild horse sanctuary. Our idea is to put together some big fence ranges for them where those horses can live a great lifestyle. He's taking over everything else in his life. My battle is to keep this place going. He's fought the government, he's fought the neighbors, he's fought everybody. How often do you have someone come to you that looks like he just climbed off a horse? Seven days a week, no vacations, and there's no salaries. Jesus. One old cowboy can do quite a bit. He followed his dream. We don't save the horses. There's not anybody else to do it. Come on, babies! This is going to be the only place you're going to see wild horses in the next 10 to 15 years. Dayton is a holy man, a man of great vision. His feeling for this line is so reverent. People were telling me it couldn't be done, and that's the wrong thing to say to a cowboy. Mm -hmm.